are we combined with this Nokia saving lives really? Technology innovation, ecosystem innovation, because we want to work with, together with the ecosystem to really bring uh, help, real fast help to disaster areas. What is new in, in this project is that we utilizing the LTE network so we can operate the drones that can look for people, can, can look at the disaster areas to help for those who need the, need the assistance. So I think the technology is good, the advanced technology is even better, but you have to coordinate the use of this advanced technologies with those players who are not used to do that yet. When we look at the innovations, it is about having the roadmap to get from where we are today to be able to use the full-fledged broadband technology, whether we are talking about uh, HD video or we're talking about being able to do video orchestration, whether we have drones involved, all of that building into the situational awareness that we can build, but making sure that we have a step from how to get there today to be able to make it real. The most valuable thing is the, is the sensor data. And then we can build some clever algorithms to support all kind of rescue tasks really nicely. We have done a lot of humanitarian work before. We have helped people in disaster areas. But now this first response kind of project is is excellent addition to that work. And we, I'm, I'm so proud of the project. We ensure that we have solid communications that are reliable for our first responders. So when they turn on a video camera, they don't want to have jittery stuff. They don't want to have, did, the, did it come in, can you hear me? We don't have time for that. We really need to make sure when we hit the button and we push the talk, or if we send the video, that that video is getting across the first time. Seconds and inches matter when it comes to saving lives.